What's up, fam? This is your girl, Amanda, and I'm coming back to y'all with yet another video. So let's talk Black China and her boo, Kid Boo, okay? So over the weekend, they went on vacation to Honolulu, Hawaii, and y'all, they acting up in these people's hotels yesterday. So yesterday, China called 911 shortly after 9 a.m., saying that she was assaulted by a male acquaintance. And she reported that she and the suspect had been involved in an argument several hours earlier and the argument had escalated to a physical confrontation and that the male left the area after the confrontation and has not been located. And from what I read, they got in a fight because China accused him of cheating on her. And so China scratched him up and then he in turn threw China on the wall several times and choked her. Yes, y'all, they got into it bad, all right? And the paramedics were called to the scene, but no one was seriously injured and there were no hospital trips. And y'all, if I'm not mistaken, they just recently started talking. Like, they have not been talking that long. So for them to be fighting like how they fighting already, that's, a, that's trouble in paradise already. Literally, trouble in paradise. For real. And their relationship is over and done with before he even got started good, which is sad. But anyway, guys, so it was reported that Rob was upset about the whole situation with Black China going to Hawaii. And the reason being is because he had dreamed at the time she left for Hawaii and China did not let Rob know that she was going to Hawaii. So when he went over to drop Dream off, she wasn't there. And according to a source... They said that China insists at least one of the nannies was at the L.A. home and Rob did not try reaching out like he claims he did. If Rob would have just texted or gone there and knocked on the door, he could have left the baby with China's employee, something she says he's done before. And also said that she's been absent during her time with Dream in the past and note there's nothing in their current custody agreement that requires her to be there all the time when it's her time to take care of Dream. But when it's time for you to take care of your child, why wouldn't you want to take care of your child? You had the freedom when she was with the daddy. So why wouldn't you want to take care of the child now? And a source said the only reason why he is upset now is because she is in a relationship with someone else. Um, China, ain't nobody jealous of your two second relationships, okay? Nobody is jealous of that. Because clearly your relationship is not all that because y'all fighting in Hawaii, all right? And it was reported that he was mad after China jetted off to Hawaii while she was meant to have custody of their daughter at the time. Because like I said, he was dropping Dream off because it was his time to give her back to the mama. And so she wasn't there. And so um, I can understand why he was upset about the whole situation. I, I mean, it's a respect thing, especially when you have a child together. Just let someone know because that's what responsible adults do when they have a child together. Together. They let each other know what's going on. And according to a source, China planned on having Dream stay with a nanny in LA while she was in Hawaii. Rob is mad because if either parent is out of town, the other parent is supposed to have the option to keep Dream longer. And the source also said that Rob doesn't want Dream to stay alone with a nanny while China parties in Hawaii. This is what he is mad about. She needs to tell him when she won't be in LA so Rob can keep Dream longer. Rob is getting his lawyer involved in this situation. And speaking of the custody agreement, another source said that um, there's a new deal on the horizon when it comes to paying child support for baby Dream. Right now, he is paying $20,000 a month for this little baby, okay? And if everything goes to plan, it will be cut in half. He will just pay about $10,000 for the baby. Now, I do think $20,000 is a substantial amount of money for a baby. That's a lot. Like, you know, China is coming off good, getting 20k a month for a baby she really is she's getting that bag for real from rob y'all for real and as far as the fight goes between her and um kid boo to me it just seems like china always get herself involved in toxic relationships where she's fighting where she's being petty and that's the type of person that china is it's like her aura attracts toxicity okay and she needs to change her ways too because we all know how china is 
China is a finesse. She's about getting that money from whomever will give it to her. And that way of thinking will always cause her to have a toxic relationship. And it's just something about her that attracts toxicity. And it has a lot to do with her, herself, especially when you're attracting that much um, toxic relationships and things like that, because she does not keep a relationship. I think the longest one she probably had was with Tyga, and that probably was the longest relationship she's had in her whole entire life. And then the next one could have been Rob, okay, and that didn't last that long either. And China is too old to be acting the way that she's acting at this point. China is in her 30s, so she does know better. And when you know better, you do better. And it's going to come a point in her life that she's going to have to change and she's going to want to change. Because the way she's going now, it doesn't look like a happy ending for her. You know, it doesn't. It just doesn't to me. And, you know, getting in fights constantly in every relationship you've been in, that's awful. That's that got to be awful, right? And as far as Rob being upset about the situation, I don't blame him. You know, I have a child, so I have to communicate to my child's dad about different things. You know, even though I might not like my child's daddy, okay? That was my ex-husband, okay? I was married to the dude. But as far as things relating to my child, I have to communicate with him, okay? And let him know, look, I'm going to Hawaii. And could you keep keep my child for a couple of more days while I go have fun? And that's all she could have said. Now, if she was thinking that Rob would have said no, she still should have said something regardless, regardless because he could have very well just said yeah I'll keep the baby for a couple more days and you know she said that he may be uh, jealous of the relationship no one's jealous of your relationship sweetie your relationships don't last long at all at all and as far as I can see none of her relationships have been perfect none of them so who's trying to be jealous of a toxic relationship no one Okay, so what are your thoughts about this whole crazy situation with Black China fighting all the way in Hawaii, honey? And with her boo, kid boo. And what do you think about Rob being upset with the fact that she did not let him know that she was going to Hawaii, even though it was her turn to take care of Dream? So what are your thoughts about this whole situation? You know what you got to do. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like these. And y'all stay tuned for the next video. Alrighty.